Computer-generated imagery, most commonly known as CGI, has taken the world by storm, and we're not only talking about comic book films. CGI has been used to enhance the art of filmmaking, and despite the benefits of this technique, it does cause issues for some actors. It's hard to work on a green screen all day, but those aren't the issues we're looking into. Get ready for some CGI moments you probably never even knew about. What do you think about CGI in films? Are they using it too much today? Sound off in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant and join our notification squad. Here is Screen Rant's list of 10 CGI movie effects that made actors uncomfortable. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Welcome home, Peter! Guardians of the Galaxy The director of Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn, has a secret weapon in the form of his brother, Sean Gunn. Sean Gunn played the hilarious Kurt Gleason on the beloved TV show Gilmore Girls, and actually portrays two characters in Guardians of the Galaxy. One was Kraglin, the sidekick to Yondu, and the other you probably wouldn't guess. He played Rocket Raccoon. No, no, not the voice, that was Bradley Cooper. But he was the stand-in for the genetically altered bounty hunter Raccoon. He might be used to playing comedy roles, but not being petted on set or treated like a little furball. It made for some weird stories, but a great performance. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Continuing the epic space opera that George Lucas brought to life in 1977, Walt Disney Studios released Rogue One, a Star Wars story in 2016 with much delight. One aspect of the film that wowed or annoyed viewers was the CGI portrayals of Peter Cushing and Carrie Fisher. English actor Guy Henry portrayed Cushing during filming, and then his face was changed to look like Grand Moff Tarkin with CGI. Henry was afraid to let the movie down, and even said that the process was frightening. We think he nailed the performance of Cushing, not to mention that voice. Les Miserables the director of 2012's Les Miserables felt that most musicals do a bad job of relaying true singing performances during films, because the actors don't usually sing when they film. The final songs are added in post, as the actors sing to a recording during production. But to get great sounding vocals during a song, microphones need to be close to the actors. The director wanted to record his actors live, so he had microphones and wires in every singing scene, making it difficult for the actors to move on set. The wires and mics were removed with CGI in post but sadly, not Russell Crowe's singing voice. Off his feet! Avengers Age of Ultron During filming of Avengers Age of Ultron, Scarlett Johansson was pregnant and had to rely on her team of stunt women to stand in for her during many scenes. She even filmed numerous scenes before the other actors even arrived on set, before her growing baby bump was too noticeable. Still, her belly was showing in many scenes, and they had to remove it with CGI. Several times, her face was CGI'd onto her stunt doubles, and watching the film made Johansson feel awkward. She enjoys getting her hands dirty and working with weapons, so watching someone else do it with her face was not ideal for the actress. That's okay though, she has other Marvel films to show off her skills. I'm your hairy dog father. I mean, very good mother. Hmm? Cinderella. When the trailer for 2015's Cinderella was released, speculation about Lily James's waistline being slimmed down with CGI immediately started. James quickly told the world that her waistline was not altered, but embarrassedly revealed one feature of her body that was, her feet. She described them as ugly, and was glad they used CGI to enhance her glass slipper wearing feet, but was hoping to keep it on the down low. Looks like her fairy godmother used a little bippity boppity boo to enhance her figure anyways, but not in the way that audience members thought. I look like my great aunt Tessie. <sighs> Smell like my great aunt Tessie. The Harry Potter franchise. Some of the best scenes in the Harry Potter franchise are during their Quidditch games, simply because every time we watch it, we want to join in on the fun. Actor Rupert Grint, who portrayed Ron Weasley, wasn't as excited to join in on the flying fun. To film these CGI-heavy scenes, the actors were placed 30 feet in the air, and balls were thrown at them. This might sound like fun to some of us, but when you're afraid of heights, it isn't a cup full of butterbeer. Grint nonetheless persisted, and even saved the big game. When you get to hell, John, <coughs> tell him Daisy sent you. The Hateful Eight 
This is one that made the actors on set of one film miserable because of bad CGI in another film. In the film The Social Network, there is a poorly produced CGI scene when the actors are cold and you can see their CGI breath. Quentin Tarantino hated that scene so much that he made his actors work on a refrigerated set that was 30 degrees Fahrenheit every day during the filming of The Hateful Eight. Tarantino has been known for keeping it real on set, so his actors knew what they were getting into, but probably had their assistants making numerous coffee runs. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. The Social Network. Speaking of The Social Network, it's hard to imagine that a movie can make a horrible CGI effect like Cold Breath that we just mentioned, and then convince the masses with another effect. The Winklevoss twins in the film are actually not twins. The face of one actor, Army Hammer, was put onto the face of the other actor, Josh Pence, to give the illusion of twins. Pence was disheartened during production, because he was getting his big break in a David Fincher film and no one would ever see him. I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore. Twilight. Hate it or love it, you have to admit that a lot of people are fans of the Twilight movies, not to mention the best-selling books. One scene you might remember from the movie is when the pale-skinned Cullens decide to take Kristen Stewart out for a family-friendly baseball game that turns bad quickly. The family played with no gloves, so when they were practicing this scene with real baseballs, their hands were obviously in pain. The crew decided to use clear plastic Christmas ornaments in place of actual baseballs to keep their actors from bruising. Then, they would replace the ornaments with CGI balls in post. They can withstand hundreds of years of high school, but not a few baseball bruises? Canada! Deadpool. If you haven't seen Deadpool yet, you just aren't living. Despite its R rating, teens from every spectrum have watched and loved this film. Its star, Ryan Reynolds, had a tough time getting the film made, and once shooting started, he even had a few bumps and bruises to achieve the violence he wanted. With all these painful scenes, he still didn't have it as bad as the stand-in actor for Colossus. It actually took five actors to portray the character of Colossus, so while it's Stefan Kapisic's voice you hear in the movie, it's actually André Tricoteur who was used on set in a motion capture performance. The part that got tricky for Tricoteur was the platform shoes he had to act in, which caused him a lot of grief and stumbles during his performance. Well, how about that? Cinderella's feet, Grand Moff Tarkin's face, and the breath of Samuel Jackson were all the effects of CGI that caused uncomfortable moments for actors. Check out our other videos for more cool content. Thanks for watching.